Most people think that refusing to believe in science only happens to the uneducated. But the truth is, we all do it. Even when evidence is clear, when experiments have been repeated for decades, we still choose comfort over truth. Because accepting facts often means admitting we were wrong. Today, we'll look at 12 scientifically proven facts people still refuse to believe and the psychology behind why our minds fight against evidence. Let's start. 1. Cracking your knuckles doesn't cause arthritis. You've probably been told not to crack your knuckles, that it'll give you arthritis. But that's completely false. The popping sound isn't your bones grinding together. It's just tiny gas bubbles forming and collapsing inside your joints, like the hiss from opening a soda can. Studies across decades, including one scientist who cracked only one hand for 50 years, show zero difference in joint health. So why do people still believe it? Because the sound feels violent. Our brains associate sharp or gross sounds with damage. It's a reflex of emotional disgust, not logic. This myth survives because it feels true. And for most people, feelings beat facts every time. 2. Humans have more than five senses. We were all taught the same thing. Humans have five senses, sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. But that's like saying the universe has five stars. Science has confirmed we actually have over 14 senses, including balance, equilibrioception, pain, nociception, temperature, thermoception, and awareness of time, space, and internal state, interoception. So why do people refuse to accept that? because it challenges something we learned as kids, and childhood facts are emotionally anchored. To question them is to admit our teachers, our books, maybe even our parents were wrong. Psychologists call this cognitive dissonance, the discomfort that comes when reality doesn't match memory. So instead of updating our minds, we often choose denial. It's easier to keep believing we only have five senses, because it's simpler. 3. You don't swallow spiders in your sleep. Let's kill this creepy myth once and for all. No, you don't swallow spiders in your sleep, not even one a year. Spiders have zero interest in crawling into a giant breathing creature that snores and moves. They prefer quiet, safe corners, not your face. This fact was born from a 1990s social experiment proving how easily fear-based information spreads online. Yet people keep repeating it. Why? Because fear bypasses logic. It activates a primal circuit in your brain called the amygdala, forcing you to remember threats more vividly than safety. That's why scary lies go viral. They hijack survival instincts. Our brains evolved to overreact, not overthink. And that's how misinformation wins. Not because it's smart, but because it's scary. 4. Bulls aren't angered by red. We've all seen matadors waving bright red capes, and we've been told bulls charge because they hate red. Except bulls can't even see red. They're colorblind to red and green. What triggers them is motion, not hue. The matador's movement and body language provoke the bull, not the fabric's color. The red cloth is for humans. It dramatizes the scene for the crowd. But people still refuse to believe it because the story is too iconic to doubt. Red equals anger. It's symbolic. We're emotionally attached to the image. It satisfies our need for meaning and drama. Humans crave stories that feel poetic, not sterile. And in that craving, myths become stronger than truth. 5. The hangry feeling is real. When you're hungry and irritated, you're not just being dramatic, 
your brain is actually in survival mode. As blood sugar drops, the brain releases cortisol and adrenaline, the same hormones used during fear or danger. Your body interprets hunger as a threat. That's why your patience disappears and tiny annoyances feel explosive. But many people still deny this, calling it an excuse for bad behavior. It's because we're taught to separate emotion from biology, to see feelings as weakness instead of chemistry. In reality, emotion is biology. Your mood isn't a mystery, it's measurable. So next time you're hangry, don't feel guilty, feel human. Six, bats aren't blind. Blind as a bat, one of the most repeated phrases in the English language, but bats can see just fine. Their vision is optimized for low light, and they combine it with echolocation, a natural sonar system to map the world in sound. They use both systems in perfect sync. People still refuse to believe that because the phrase feels right. It's short, poetic, and symbolic of ignorance. Language has emotional gravity. Once a phrase embeds in culture, even facts can't pull it back out. We remember rhymes, not research. That's how words quietly rewrite truth. 7. The calm before the storm is real. It sounds like a poetic metaphor, but it's real meteorology. Right before a major storm, strong updrafts pull air upward, canceling surface winds, creating a strange, eerie calm. It's literally the sky inhaling. Still, people dismiss it as just a saying because it doesn't look dramatic enough. No lightning, no rain, just stillness. But that stillness is the warning. Nature doesn't need volume to show power. The reason people don't believe it is simple. We expect danger to look dangerous. Yet in nature and in life, the quiet moments often signal the biggest changes. 8. You're never too old to learn. For decades, people believed the brain stopped changing after childhood, but neuroscience now proves otherwise. Your brain is a living network, constantly forming new connections through a process called neuroplasticity. Even at 80, your mind can still learn a new skill, language, or instrument. So why do so many refuse to believe it? Because I'm too old is a comforting excuse. It protects us from the vulnerability of starting over. Failure threatens ego more than ignorance. That's why many people stay in the comfort of limitation. But the brain doesn't age from time. It ages from repetition. Keep learning, and you literally keep rewiring your mind toward youth. 9. Gladiators were celebrities, not slaves. Movies love to show gladiators as doomed slaves forced to fight for freedom, but history paints a very different picture. Most gladiators were professionals, trained, fed, and paid. They had sponsors, contracts, fans, and even doctors. Fights were regulated with referees and rarely ended in death. People reject this fact because it breaks the narrative they love the underdog story, the hero in chains. Hollywood made that myth emotionally irresistible. It's easier to believe a powerful story than a boring fact. And that's how storytelling, not science, shapes what we call truth. 10. Chewing gum boosts focus. Chewing gum often gets labeled as rude or childish, but science says it's surprisingly effective for the brain. The simple act of chewing increases blood flow, delivering more oxygen and glucose to brain regions responsible for attention and memory. In one study, gum chewers scored significantly higher on focus tests than those who didn't. Still, many refuse to accept it because it doesn't look scientific. It's too ordinary, too casual. Our brains assume complex solutions are more credible. But sometimes the simplest actions have the biggest effects. That's the beauty of science. 
truth often hides in plain sight. Number 11. Mice don't love cheese. The image of a mouse nibbling cheese is burned into our collective memory. Cartoons, logos, children's books. But in reality, mice prefer sweet or grain-based foods. The strong smell of cheese can actually repel them. The myth started centuries ago, when cheese was the easiest food left uncovered in homes. Mice didn't love it. They just found it first. People cling to this idea because it's nostalgic. It reminds them of innocence, of simple stories that made sense as kids. Letting go of that feels like losing a part of childhood. Sometimes we don't defend myths to protect lies. We defend them to protect feelings. Number 12. Humans didn't evolve from chimps. Science has been clear for decades. Humans and chimps share a common ancestor, but neither evolved from the other. We're evolutionary cousins, not descendants. Yet many people still reject this truth because the idea clashes with our ego. It blurs the line between us and them. We want to be exceptional, not connected. But nature doesn't build hierarchies. It builds systems, interconnected, adaptive, equal in purpose. To accept that is to humble ourselves before the truth. And for some, humility is harder to learn than science. Memory feels like a recording, but it's actually a reconstruction. Every time you recall something, your brain rewrites it slightly. That's why groups of people can confidently remember events that never happened. The Mandela Effect. Your brain edits memories to protect your identity, to make stories consistent. People resist this fact because it's uncomfortable. If memory can lie, what else might not be real? But maybe that's the beauty of it. Truth isn't something you store. It's something you keep searching for. Science doesn't need our belief to exist. But belief in science... That's what keeps truth alive. The more we understand, the more we realize how much we still refuse to see. If this opened your mind, subscribe to Educated Wonder, where curiosity meets clarity and everything you thought you knew is explained clearly.